Hello everyone, I am Muhammad Afifuddin. In this video, we will see another problem based on design of two-way slabs when corners are held down. Here is the problem statement. Design a two-way slab for a room 5 meter by 6 meter clear in size. The slab is carrying live load of 4 kN per meter square including floor finish. Use M20 concrete and FE415 steel. Slab has two long edges discontinuous and corners of slabs are held down. Ok, so here is the given data. Two-way slab is given of 5 meter by 6 meter in dimension. That means LX is equal to 5 meter. LY is equal to 6 meter. Live load inclusive of self floor finish is given as 4 kN per meter square. FCK is 20 newton per mm square. FY is 415 N per mm square. In the problem statement, it is given as two long edges are discontinuous and corners are held down. So our first step is to calculate the trial depth. And here as LX that is shorter span is greater than 3.5 meter and live load is, is greater than 3 kN per meter square. Therefore we will use the formula for trial depth or assumed depth which is equal to LX upon 20 into modification factor. And you can assume modification factor between 1.2 to 1.5. So here we will assume 1.4 as a modification factor. So effective depth is equal to 178.57 mm, let us say 180 mm. Therefore our total depth will be 180 plus 20. Why 20? Because we are assuming effective cover of 20 mm. Therefore total depth is equal to 200 mm. Then effective span, we know the formula of effective span is equal to span plus effective depth. So effective span in x direction is equal to 4.18 meter. Similarly, effective span in y direction is equal to 5.18 meter. Okay, then our third step is to calculate loading. In this, firstly we have to calculate the self weight of slab and we know the formula to calculate self weight that is volume into density. Therefore, B into capital D into density of concrete that is 25 which is equal to 5 kN per meter square. Here live load inclusive of floor finish is given as 4 kN per meter square. Therefore total load is equal to 9 kN per meter square. Then we will convert it into the design load by multiplying it factor of safety so that our design load WU is equal to 13.5 kN per meter square. Ok, in the problem statement it is given as two long edges are discontinuous and corners are held down. So that to find out the bending moment coefficient, we have to refer table number 26 of IS456. For that, firstly we have to calculate the ratio of LY by LX which is equal to 1.19. Okay, in the problem statement it is given as two long edges are discontinuous. Here is the table number 26. So the case number 6 matches our criteria that is two long edges are discontinuous. So for LY by LX ratio is equal to 1.19, we have to interpolate between 1.1 value and 1.2 value so that we can interpolate and find the bending moment coefficient in x direction that is alpha x. And alpha y is given here that is 0 0.035 and 0 0.045 so that we will take the maximum value here. Okay. So alpha y is equal to the maximum which is equal to 0.045. So after interpolating alpha x is equal to 0.050. Therefore mu x that is moment in x direction is equal to alpha x into w into lx square which gives us the value of mu x is equal to 18.11 kN meter. Similarly moment in y direction muy is equal to alpha y into wu lx square therefore muy is equal to 16.30 kilonewton meter okay 
Now we will calculate the required depth so that we have to equate bending moment and limiting moment of resistance. So here we will consider the maximum bending moment here which is in x direction and 18.11 into 10 to 6 Newton mm. MU limit formula for FA415 grade of steel is 0.138 FCK into BD square. So after putting all the values here, required depth is equal to 81 mm. And we have considered the effective depth as 180 mm. Therefore, our section is OK. Then we will find out the area of tension steel in x direction as well as in y direction. So AST x is equal to 0.5 FCK upon FY in bracket 1 minus under root 1 minus 4.6 MU x upon FCK into BD square into B into D. So after putting all the value we can calculate the value of AST x and AST x is equal to 289 mm square. Now the AST minimum that is minimum area of steel for FE415 grade of steel that is HYHD bar the AST minimum should be 0.12% of gross cross sectional area that means 0.12 upon 100 into B into capital D. So after putting all the value here AST minimum is equal to 240 mm square and our AST in X direction is 289 mm square therefore AST X is greater than AST minimum therefore ok. Now we will assume 8 mm diameter bar Therefore, spacing of 8 mm diameter bar is equal to 1000 into pi by 4 into 8 square upon area of steel in x direction that is 289 mm square which gives us the value of spacing which is equal to 174 mm. But the spacing should be less than 3D or 300 mm whichever is less so that we will calculate 3D that is 3 into 180 which is equal to 540 or 300 mm. We have calculated the spacing as 174 mm. Therefore, among these three values, the least value is 174 mm. Let us say 170 mm. Therefore, we will provide 8 mm diameter bar at 170 mm center to center along shorter span. Now, we will find out the area of steel in y direction that is ASTY. Formula is same. The only difference is here we will use MUY and we will use d dash and d dash is equal to d minus 5. So 180 minus 8 mm diameter bar which is equal to 172 mm. So after putting all the values in the formula of ASTY, ASTY is equal to 272 mm square and our minimum area of steel is 240 mm square which is less than ASTY therefore ok. Now again in y direction we will provide 8 mm diameter bar therefore spacing of 8 mm diameter bar is equal to 1000 into pi by 4 into 8 square upon asty which is equal to 184.8 mm let us say 180 mm and this spacing should be less than 3d dash or 300 mm whichever is less so 3 into d dash is equal to 516 mm and 300 mm Therefore, our value is OK and we will use the spacing 180 mm. Therefore, we will provide 8 mm diameter bar at 180 mm center to center along longer span. Now, it's time to check. Now, firstly, we will check for deflection as our D required in step number 5 which is based on bending moment criteria is less than D assumed in step number 1 which was based on deflection criteria and it is safe ok so there is no need to check for deflection now we will check for shear and check for check for shear firstly we have to calculate the shear force vu that is equal to wl by 2 which is equal to 34.96 kilo newton then we will find out nominal shear stress tau v is equal to vu upon bd which is equal to 0 0.194 newton per mm square to find out the percentage of steel we have to calculate area of steel provided ok and the area of steel is maximum in the direction of x therefore we will use area of steel in x direction and therefore area of steel provided is equal to 1000 into 
5 by 4 into 8 square upon spacing is 170 mm therefore ast provided is equal to 295 mm square so from that value we can find out the value of percentage of steel which is equal to 0.16 percent so from table number 19 of is456 page number 73 for m20 grade of concrete and pt percent is equal to 0.16 percent we have to interpolate the values between 0.15 and 0.25 percent of steel okay so after interpolating we can find out the value of tau c which is equal to 0.288 newton per mm square but in slab we have to multiply this tau c by k so to find out the value of k we have to go to page number 72 of is456 clause number 40.2.1.1 and our overall depth is 200 mm and the value of k for 200 mm overall depth is 1.2 so tau c for slab is equal to k into tau c so we will multiply it by 1.2 which is equal to 0.345 newton per mm square and our nominal shared space was 0.194 mm square that means tau c for slab is greater than nominal shear space therefore ok now as corners are held down we have to provide torsional reinforcement at the corners and for that we have to find out the mesh size and mesh size is equal to lx upon phi so lx is 5.18 upon phi which is equal to 1.036 meter let us consider it as a 1040 mm okay so we will provide mesh size of 1040 mm by 1040 mm okay at the corner so area of torsional reinforcement is equal to 3 fourth of the area of steel provided so 3 fourth of area of steel provided is 295 mm square which is equal to 222 mm square now again in mesh we will use 8 mm diameter bar therefore spacing of bars is equal to 1000 into area of one bar upon area of steel which is equal to 226 mm so let us provide 1040 mm by 1040 mm of mesh size and use 8 mm diameter bar at 220 mm center to center okay and here is the cross sectional section of our design slab you can see here and with this problem we have completed that our topic that is design of two-way slab thank you